All right. We're talking about the pec today, and in particular the pec minor, the pec major, kind of the front of the shoulder, and why uh, if you're having like a, if you've had a pec tear or some irritation uh, to this area, or if you're having issues like, ah, oh, but I do a bench press uh, or a pull up or some kind of a, a, a some upper body exercise, and you're having some pinching or, or pulling in this pec area, or even in the shoulder, this is definitely an area that we need to hit. Um, so what we're gonna do is use the lacrosse ball and use a couple different techniques to really target this area and start to, to work out some of the issues here and also try and find out, hey, where are we most tender and where are we having these issues? If, is it the issue with the push-up? Is it with an overhead, like a, you're trying to do a toes to bar or doing a pull-up uh, or any variation of the pull-up? So really knowing, hey, right, know thy enemy, where are you weak? Then we can start to hone in and say, okay, we can really start to get specific with this mobilization. So the first first thing we need to do is, hey, is it tender? If you if you torn your pack or if you have a, a minor tear in it, it's probably gonna be tender if you dig around in here, but let's find out. So we're gonna use the, I got a little bit of my, my step up here, and all we're gonna do is, I'm gonna lay down, place the ball on my pack, and just roll around. And all you're trying to do, try not to round that shoulder, right? Try not to do one of these. Uh, try to keep that shoulder kind of retract back a little bit, squeeze those, squeeze those shoulder blades back and together. And we're just trying to find out, hey, where am I, where am I having some tender spots here? If you have a tender spot, it's like, oh, yeah, that's the spot. Now all you can do is I just want you to roll around on it, relax that arm, roll around and work it out. If this is super tender, uh, the gold standard, the minimum effective dose is around two minutes. So we want to go for two minutes. You don't have to hit it the first time if it's really tender, but just going for two minutes is going to be key here. Um, and then working on it, working out and say, hey, let's try the other side, see how the other side feels. So if you definitely, if you have one side that you're having issues with, there should be a noticeable difference in, hey, um, rolling on this on that side for two minutes is definitely tender and any time a tissue is like oh my gosh that's super painful or, or super tender or ah oh, you know that feels so good that's a sign that we need to spend some time on this tissue and another thing that we can do is we can start to get specific in how we mobilize so i want you to think about mobilizing in the position of restriction all that means is if i'm having issues with my bench press in the press position when i'm coming down like oh man my shoulder gets painful or my or my pec starts to get painful, or if I'm in this, right, the, the, in the hang, in the, not the hang position, the, the overhead position doing a pull up, right, we can start to, start to hone in and say, okay, if I have issues with the press position, we can mobilize in that position. So if I'm here, if I'm gonna use that for the press position, we're gonna use this for, if I'm, I can bring my hand behind my back and then roll around and say, oh my gosh, this is a whole host more tender uh, than it was the first time and I was just hanging out down here. So this is something you can apply for your pec and really start to work this guy out and say, oh my gosh, that's super tender and, uh, and start to work it out that way. And again, two minutes, guys, don't be afraid to really explore around and find out, hey, where am I most tender um, on my pec? And so what you can also do, you can use a kettlebell for this. I, I like the lacrosse ball because you can get in here and actually twist it so I can come down here and start to twist it and like, oh man, I can really get in here. Uh, the kettlebell, you can, I guess you can rotate, I guess you can still twist the kettlebell, uh, but it's a little bit easier with the lacrosse ball. You can use the, uh, uh, the bushing here um, of, the, uh, of the, uh, the barbell, I'm blanking here, uh, of the barbell. Uh, but essentially you can get a little bit more aggressive here. A foam roller, that's a little bit too, uh, I, think I call it a pool toy. It's just not enough. Uh, the crossball is a really good start and you can progress from there to the kettlebell or to the barbell if you'd like. Uh, but guys, this is a, just a quick video on mobilizing your pec and hopefully this helped, especially if you have a pec tear or if you've like pulled your pec or minorly torn it. Um, hopefully get you back working out and uh, back to the workouts that you love doing. See you guys next time.